This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. She's got tits, Same. and she knows how to use them. Ta-da. She takes shits, and she knows when to do some. Oh, my God. She got tits. She takes shits. <laughs> Uh, sloppy state droopers by frankie ironically enough it's not ironic it's that you always make fun of my state droopers and it's always floating in the ethers how are those milkers doing today oh my god they're so fucking enormous and i'm so heavy i have five and a half more weeks left in this pregnancy and i am ready to be done with it yeah i'm heavy heavy where are you gonna be gene Oh, shit. Okay. We're going there already, huh? That's how we do it. Welcome to well, the show. Welcome to the show. I only have two dates left in this year of 2018. Uh, Jew Dork Titties, December 8th. I'm doing the Gramercy Theater. There's literally a handful of tickets left. You better scoop those up now. And I know it sounds like a long time in advance, but that's how we roll, dudes. And November 24th in Man Diego at the House of Blues. Same story, just a few tickets left. So that's also Thanksgiving weekend. So if you're looking for something to do to get away from your awful family, or even if you like them and you want to get away from them, mm-hmm. and you're in San Diego, come see me at the House of Blues. Tickets at Christina P. online. Thank you. That is what's up. I've got a couple new shows to announce. Oh. Yay! Oh, Jew shows. New shows. You mean Jew shows. Jew shows. Here we go. Go. I'm coming to Wellmont, the Wellmont Theater in Montclair, New Jersey. Oh. Uh, November 15th. The tickets go on pre-sale on Wednesday, uh, June 13th, 10 a.m. The code word is CHAMP, C-H-A-M-P. Bullshit. And then the general on sale begins Friday. That happens, yes, this week. So, also, adding a show in Orlando at the Hardcock Live, <laughs> um, 9.30, the late show. The first show is nearly sold out. That's November 3rd. So, if you're in Orlando, Florida, you didn't get tickets the first time around, I'm coming for a second show, November 3rd, at the Hard Rock Live. Uh, and, by the way, next week, I will also announce another new show. Um, where else am I going to be? Hard cuts. Uh, shows are now on sale in Fort Myers, Florida. On sale in Augusta, Georgia. West Palm, Florida is on sale. Breast Balls Beach. What else has tickets? There's some tickets left in, uh, well, there was a second show added in Boise. Eugene's almost done. Uh, Ball Sacramento. Fresno. <laughs> Jesus. Bakersfield. What, when are you doing all this? This is the end of the year? Yeah, October, November. Good lord. All at TomSegura.com. Get your tickets. Hooty hoo. Your tickets. Yeah, your tickets. Tickets. Your tickets, Gene. Um, that's it. Thank you to both of our sponsors, and welcome to this episode of Your Mom's House. Palmcast. It's one of the great <laughs> Palmcasts. If you're looking for um, enlightenment, um, this is where <laughs> academics and some of the world's leading scientists... Um, are downloading at this very moment with you to find out what's going on in the worlds of astronomy <laughs> and medicine. And we're very we're socially active as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, politics, we talk a lot about that on this show too. Absolutely. You enjoy Absolutely. C- current events, we got them. These are my favorite <laughs> topics. I'd, I'd go retarded. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm home. I'm home here home, now. Home, home. What does he say, babe? I'm home. I'm home me now. People are are saying, yelling at me. Like it's obviously that he's saying, "Home me, home on out, home me on out, Ho- home me on out, yeah. no. home me on out, yeah, home me on out." God, yeah, now, see, now out. I'm back into home me, home me on out, 
home. Yeah. Home oh. yeah, no. Shit, it might be home. Yeah. Home. Yeah. This is know. like the Laurel. Did somebody beat me? Home yeah, now. Yeah. Fuck, home, home. I still man. think it's home. I'm home here now. You know, we. I mean, can we contact this person? Yeah, he's really. <laughs> I'm sure super excited about this. Very he, excited. He doesn't know what's happening. He doesn't know. Let's get into this show. Oh, we have so much to Let, do. There's a lot to talk about. All right, here we go. <laughs> home, oh wait, home this man out. <laughs> this uh, for some reason this didn't go over. Good morning, everyone. I don't know why. Uh -oh, it sounds good already. <laughs> oh man, out. Uh oh, oh dad no. mouth. Yeah, Ugh, look at that dad mouth. Dad smells. Mouth. You can tell. You think so? Yeah, it smells like horror garbage, okay. like thief's mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know why that went that way, but oh man, out. Oh man, out. Um, God, his mouth looks like it stinks. Uh, poor guy. I know, it's not his fault. Maybe he's going to say something real sweet. You're going to feel badly. <laughs> I doubt that. I highly doubt that. Good morning, everyone. I'm <laughs> at my job site getting ready to start my day, and I couldn't be happier about it. <sighs> but what I'd really rather be doing is coming to your home yeah. and combing your grandmother's hair. <laughs> this shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. <laughs> your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So. Oof. Where are his top teeth? I don't know. And I, I also noticed that there weren't so many <laughs> molars on the side of the bottoms either. It seemed like it was just kind of. See, I knew it. Now, how did I know just based on the the small, narrow row of bottom teeth I saw? I was like, this guy doesn't have. I don't know if like over <laughs> here. And over here, there's nothing there. It's black. One, two, three, four, five. You don't need a lot more than five. I know that much. <laughs> those are actually the most useless teeth. The ones in the front bottom row. You don't yeah. need those for shit. It's the molars you really need, and those are the ones that fall out the most. I feel these right here though are the scariest. Yeah, dead. This dead, look. Dead. Yeah. Nice. This guy mm -hmm. is like, I want to comb your grandmother's hair. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a whole new lane of And by the way, this is also video. a guy, this is who I see as being like, hi, Christina, good morning. Yeah. And then like a door shuts and he's like, did you comb your hair yet? Yeah. And you're like, um, what? Yeah, he's scary. Doing is coming to your home <laughs> and combing your grandmother's hair. <laughs> God, I like this a lot. You okay. do? Well, I do. You know why? Because I know what's about to happen. We're about to have another breakthrough in your mom's house videos. This is going to be a whole new lane for Dude, us. This it's a lot of pressure on the video itself. I just I feel it though. I, I my spidey really? senses are tingling. I don't know that. what's coming for people that I don't, don't know what's know, coming either. I don't know. I mean, ninety eight percent of the time, you know, we are seeing this with you it's not like this is prepared and i go oh i know it's well coming. let me tell you why i think this is good uh the background's terrible again he's in a car but he is wearing a shirt which is not <laughs> protocol you know it makes me think that he's a little too sensible he's got something weird to tell us because he's in a private enclosure it's yeah it's it is good. in the car it's before. all adding up okay all right, here let's, we go let's see you know she needs it comb you know it's gonna make her happy it makes me happy to do it. Won't you let Mike come to your home and comb that hair out of your grandmother's face? What's happening? I don't know, but I'm just expecting like the next part. He's like, and then I'll smash her fucking yeah, skull. Yeah, or come in her eyes. I wasn't going there with it, but I yeah. was going there. That's what he wants to. He wants to come in your grandma's hair. <laughs> he wants to mash it down, <laughs> like give him, give her a good boy hair. Oh, <laughs> Where she he brushes it to the side, of the <laughs> parts it, and then yeah. combs it. And he's like, "Oh, yeah. I got all my cum in there now." Yeah, it's good boy. Now hair. it's gonna dry the way I like it. <laughs> yeah, Ugh. that's what he really wants to do. So it's so scary. I know. If he, you know, what's even scarier? Imagine if this guy's actually. Uh, let's say just a really nice guy. He's like, "Hey, was that a funny video?" I made? I was like, <laughs> "I was scared to death, man. I was just terrified." <laughs> like He's his like, son no, was really... like, "Make a viral video." Or something. He's like, "Hey, I made this one about combing your grandmother's hair." And I was like, "No, mm. it, it read really wrong. <laughs> read real scary." <laughs> he has to know he's creepy. How about the dog? Oh shit! Would you let me come to your home and pet the dog? No. You know the dog needs it. It makes him happy. 
I'm happy to pet the dog. It's a win-win situation. Let me come to your home and pet that dog. Oh, man. How is there not more to this? What do you mean? That's it? That's it. No, that can't be the whole video. That's what I was sent. Blue Band, we need more information. Blue this, Band. This can't be everything. Um, yeah. It says he's living for Pizza Hut. Huh. I don't know why. How is that the whole video? It doesn't feel like it's the whole video. No, there's something nefarious going on here. Come on, Blue Band. He wants to come in your dog's hair. You know she needs it comb. Blue Band, send me the rest of this fucking video. Yeah, this is not the whole story. Something's something's going on. Oh, Oh my God, this baby's moving so fast. This kid does somersaults in me all fucking day. He's going to come out wild, Gene. You better brace yourself. Oh my God, dude. Who's dancing on my bladder? Anyways, um, I did my Netflix shoot this last yeah, week. Yeah, you did in, great. Uh, Las Vegas. What's well, it's Las Vegas in our language? Uh, Lost Anus. Lost Anus. I want to thank everybody that came out to the taping. Joey Diaz and I were on the same night with Yamanika. And I got to tell you, it was fucking chaos i think it was crazy that was pretty wild for people that it was crazy most people obviously were not at that show it was in downtown (laughs) las vegas right on fremont street at a bar there normally a musical venue it was called like backstage billiard so it's a proper rock venue yeah but they built a special you know set for the stage yeah and then yeah monica went up did great then you are in the wings ready to go <laughs> no so i'm getting i'm fucking seven months what almost eight months pregnant yeah and i'm standing backstage and there's a music cue some rock song like she's a cowgirl and i'm like yeah. i don't know what's happening and then and picture too you know obviously there's a couple hundred people there yeah um Full, you know, obviously crew for a production backstage. It's like all the producers and all the executives yeah. and there's Video Village. It's just, it's very busy. There's a lot going on. There's a smoke <laughs> machine rolling. The They're smoke like, Get the machine. smoke, 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 smoke. And there's smoke <laughs> spewing know. out. And then and I, I'm standing there and I'm waiting for my cue to go out on the stage to do the first show, my first set ever of this taping, yeah. right? The smoke is going and I noticed that the production person is having trouble opening the door to the stage and like fifo i watch our dogs and the brilliance of fifo not so much bitsy uh but fief is that when he senses danger you know what that dog does mm. he gets the fuck out of the way yeah you see his spidey sense <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. his eyebrows actually raise yeah his, ears, ears go uh, yes Mm-mm. No, and I, I swear to you, and I'm not saying this as a bit, I did think of FIFO at that moment, and I was like, oh, I think I should get out of the way. Something tells me something bad is about to happen. I swear to God, and I moved away, because I was like, this is dangerous, and lo and behold, a heavy fucking, I don't know, seven it's foot- like a door. Door, yeah. wooden door, and this poor production lady, she's opening it, and it falls like just centimeters, millimeters from my hand. And it falls down and crashes down right where I was just standing. And, of course, everybody's freaking out and they have to redo it and reset yeah. it. And then we're all in the back waiting to go up. So that was what happened right before I went up. And I thought to myself, this is really good luck. Because when I had my first special taping, remember that guy that took a shit during my show and then he kept flushing the toilets over and over? In Seattle. In Seattle. And I had to stop my set and be like, is somebody going to address the toilet flushing? Yeah, this guy's taking a shit during my somebody show. Somebody was shitting in the middle of my show and fucking up sound. So I feel as though it's a good omen when something like that happens. And the first tape, the first taping went. It was good. It was great. The second one was even better, and we got we got what we needed. So it's going to be a great show. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, thank you again for coming. So we had a good time in Vegas, too, It was too, awesome. Gene. The, uh, the second show was was killer. That was the jam, yeah. yeah. Thank God for a second show. Thank God they taped two shows. <laughs> every show, I feel like. Every time I tape something, uh, a special it's or something, it's show. always... Yeah, for sure. And you end yeah. up... You always end up... It's funny because you go, it's all about the second show. You always end up using something from the first show. Yeah. That you don't remember at the time, but when you watch the cut, you're like, oh, actually, that was how I like it more. Yeah. But 
the usually I don't know like the vibe and the energy is better. always better on the second show. Maybe because you shake you shake the nerves off on the first yeah. show, and then by the second one you're relaxed. The audience is a little bit later in the evening. Yeah, they're a little loose. But uh, man, that was like I, I gotta tell you, I don't. I'm not a huge. We're not a huge Vegas couple. It's not really our jam. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Um, but being in that downtown location was just, mm. qu- I forgot, like I forgot. Brought back the memories of uh, when we lived in um, Koreatown, downtown <laughs> adjacent here. You mean the Rampart? Yeah, the Rampart division, <laughs> MacArthur Park. Um, you see a lot of kicky footers. And, uh, <laughs> if you don't know what a kicky footer is, it's uh, somebody <laughs> who is in a wheelchair, um, but... They have the use of their legs, and the way that they move the chair around is they kick their they kick in a kicky foot. kicky foot. They push, <laughs> and then they back up, and sometimes they go forward with their yeah. feet. And you go, oh, you just feel like sitting, and they're like, yeah, yeah. It's kind of it's not fair to the people that might really need the wheelchair. I it sure like. doesn't seem like it. I remember there was a kicky foot lady uh, <laughs> down on Sixth Street there. Uh, our old hood. Yeah. And, oh uh, yeah, yeah. We saw a guy, the bearded lady. Wasn't yeah. that the bearded one? No, the bearded guy. There's a bearded man with paint in his beard yeah, on. Yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah, but there was this one lady that I used to always see. But uh, downtown Vegas had a guy <laughs> kicky footing across the street. Several, a whole yeah. team of kicky footers. It felt like a whole, <laughs> a whole situation. And you know, it's just it's not my bag. Downtown Vegas, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. So we we stayed in a, a, a the 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 more that whole section <laughs> seems like it's a, just a parole hearing gathering. <laughs> so there are there courthouses there. There should be. I mean, yeah, there are, but yeah, it's just oh my, and the the Greyhound station's right there. It uh, is a Greyhound station. But the whole that's thing, what, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, but it was nice to kind of reminisce because. The early stages of our careers, we did a lot of shows down there. Oh yeah, yeah, we used to do Four Queens. I did that. Yeah, and I did the Golden Nugget, and um, yeah, you know these Vegas Palace Station, Palace Station, Orleans. I did the Sands before it was gone. I did the Riv before it was gone. Ha- Harrah's was that Harrah's? Down there? That's where the Improv yeah. is. Yeah, the Trop. I did that. Oh man, I just do all of them, and people Holy don't shit. know. When you do, you know, you do the road, you're you're typically on uh, most club weekends are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then sometimes Sunday. Vegas, you do Monday through Sunday. Brutal. So you arrive Monday and you do one show a night until Saturday. You do two shows oh Saturday. My God. And uh I really thank God that I don't have the gambling gene. Oh, but, we, we don't have the fun gene. Let's yeah. back it up. You and I out of all the agents, the managers, the executives, the other comedians on this thing, are probably the most antisocial people. Yeah. Like, we should be fun, and we're the least fun. Yeah, I, I always get that. Um, <laughs> we have no fun. I remember when the one of the, one of the calls I got one time was, uh, hey, do you want to do, um, it's one of these festivals, you know? It would have been like Moon Tower or oh, yeah. one of these festivals, and I go, well, what's the, <laughs> like, what's the deal? And they're like, well... It's not a great offer, but nah. it's like a great hang. And nope. I go, excuse me? And he's like, well, you know, like all your friends will be there. And I was like, I don't care. My friends he's are like, here in L.A. Yeah. And they're like, well, yeah, you just be with them in another city. And no. Nah. Yeah, you, know, you party. I go, I don't fucking party. And they're like, <laughs> I know. so you don't want to do it? I go, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I want to do like a regular show. I don't care if it's a festival is involved. Well, because we can go down to the comedy store and see those exact same people. Yeah, then my festival is on Sunset. It's it's easy. Yeah, I don't need to fly to I'll Austin. do the or... Thursday night festival. <laughs> <laughs> or Mon- Montreal yeah. to fly across the world. No, I know. None I of mean... those things. They're like, you're going to hang? No? <laughs> no. <laughs> I go to bed by 10. Yeah. And that's what we did after the taping. They were like, are we going to go out now? We're like, no, oh I'm exhausted. God. He's exhausted. Well, it's crazy to say to you. I mean, you're fucking super pregnant. Yeah, people still are like, you want to go out? I'm like, no, I want to lay And then they pulled me aside and they're like, you're going out, right? And I was like, <laughs> dude, what? No. <laughs> yeah, you're going to leave your pregnant wife Remember back the phone? in the hotel? Oh, my God. I've never seen. I had two crazy. crazy phone things in two weeks in hotels. <sighs> so so weird. in Vegas, we're, we get back. <laughs> We order too much food. As usual. We wind That's down. That's our fun. Yeah, that was our celebration. Is ordering too much Chinese dumplings yeah, or whatever the to, fuck. to go to bed. So we're like, all right, you know, congratulations, big win, you know, great special. Finally, she goes to bed. I go, 
I'm going to go to bed, too. I'm tired. Because I flew oh, the day God. before back from Charlotte, then the next day to Vegas. I'm tired. We lay down. It was like on cue. <laughs> the phone, which is sitting on the nightstand of this nice hotel, goes dial tone. The speaker phone goes on. It goes, <laughs> so weird. So you're like, um, what's that? And you just kind of hit it off. Like, okay, that was weird. A minute later. Oh so then I'm like, well, what, what's happening with this phone? I just try to like fix it every 45 seconds or so. <laughs> It keeps going on. Then I try to unplug it. It's like sealed yeah. into the phone. Yeah. Then I call down. Hey, you know. How did you call down though? I just called, I called guest services. From another, from the other from the, phone. Because there was two the, phones. Yeah. Well, I guess you, how did you, I guess you picked the other line or something? I guess. I don't open. know. I, I was like, oh my God. I was so tired too. I was like. <sighs> so two in the morning. Because I had fallen asleep. It wasn't right away, you know. It no, was, we were both in a dead yeah. sleep. I got up to piss. That's right. I came back and then it started doing And that. then I start telling them, I'm like. Here's what's happening with the phone. They're like, okay, we'll try to get some. I go, no, 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 no. I was like, you have to send somebody now. I'm going crazy right now. <laughs> and as I'm doing that, I hear like, <laughs> and I'm like, I hear shit like crashing. I'm like, what the fuck? And you had man. I mean, I'm telling you, at my full strength, like, you know, I mean, I didn't try to violently do it, but I was like, yeah. oh, this is not like a regular plug in like this you know what i mean like it's not but it a, wasn't like a regular it's not a regular thing. phone line no, it, wasn't. it was like actually like i don't know sealed in there somehow yeah. christina managed from the bed seven and a half months pregnant she just got bam and like the phone went flying <laughs> off and i go uh yeah just send them up so then i take what you did kind of piece it back together and when the guy gets there, instead of being like, fix it, I go, here's the phone. Take <laughs> this yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, hell hath no fury like a, a, a pregnant woman trying to get her two hours of sleep. Oh, my God. And that whole ordeal, I mean, by the way, was that was like a 25-minute ordeal. Of course. It kept going off. And the rage inside of me, I was like, dude, I fucking, I, I'm exhausted. I yanked it as hard as I, I fucking no could. I have no idea man. what could make a fucking phone do that. I don't know, dude. I mean, literally. I don't know. It's possessed. It's, it's dial tone would just come through the speaker. <laughs> On, like every minute but I, I at that point I didn't care I was like I'm gonna pay for this phone I'll give you two hundred dollars or whatever it is I can't I can't listen to this shit but the okay. best part is um is you called down for for room service remember yeah and what did you say oh I ordered and then she's like is that it I go yeah and she goes okay we'll be up in like 30 minutes I go thanks gambling jeans <laughs> and she and I thought she had already had, she goes <laughs> she laughed I yeah. called her gambling jeans. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Well, because I've been calling people mommy and jeans like just openly and rampantly. Mm -hmm. Zero pushback. No. And I mean, I'm calling you people. You want them to acknowledge you sometimes. Or just to be like, why'd you call me mommy? I'm like, I'm just calling you mommy. You know, <laughs> I spent $40, by the way, um, on the slots. I was walking through the floor. On the slots, you did? On the slots, yeah. And I went up, I went up to 65 and I was like, hmm. You did? When? When I went down there and then. Oh my gosh. I took that money and I put it in another machine. Yeah. And I lost it in like five spins. <laughs> I was like, that's it. I don't, I don't, I'm, you know, I don't really understand the thrill of gambling. It's just not I in get me. it, but I don't have the, like it's either excites like it. you or it doesn't. It terrifies me because I know how, how hard it is to earn money. And I feel like it's, I, it's the Eastern blocker in me is like, no, dude, I'm not doing this. I'm yeah. not throwing my money down the toilet. Uh, Claudia is asking this question. Uh, I've got to tell her. Our nanny. Dose. So, um, somebody wanted to send you this. Ready oh, to check this out? Great. They have a little clap <sighs> back terrified. on you. Oh, shit. Here we go. It's not that bad. Here we go. There she is. Oh, how dare you? I don't want to read the. We can go ahead forward. Hey, mommy. Not reading it. Brendan and Taylor here. Just want to point out that me, Taylor, the female, no. bought this shirt the first time it was mentioned. Also must mention, I bought <laughs> Brendan's Rub 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 shirt as well. Okay. All my idea, female idea. So take it, Dr. Drew. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. They're okay. getting, uh, they're getting, they're engaged, they're getting married very soon. Uh, congrats. Congratulations. They asked if you have any marriage advice. Yeah, don't marry this chick because she's obviously got <laughs> uh, sociopathic tendencies. Oh. That's, that's your, she wrote the email though, babe. 
Oh, you guys should, then you're perfect for each other. You're both psychos <laughs> if you buy these shirts together. That's your advice to anyone that gets a four-stroke shirt? Yeah, you guys are disgusting animals. No, no, it's it's the four-strokes and the rub right, Yeah, both, both, I both. I mean, you guys She are, bought both. Yeah, well, you guys are clearly mentally disturbed and you're perfect for each other. And there you go. half the work is done. There you go. Um, <sighs> what I advice do you have to people married? Getting married? No, I think they already have, I mean, they look happy. Um, they have a, obviously a shared sensibility. I know what Keep, it is. What is it? Keep making each other laugh. You yeah. gotta don't take yourself too seriously. Give each other haircuts. You like give my each other haircuts. Um, always, you as the man always should cut her hair in style and color <laughs> her hair. Um, you should do her makeup. You should do her eyebrows. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you should uh, don't take her for granted. That's good. Don't take each other for granted. I would say right. Don't take each other for present, granted. Stay stay aware it's always nice to have gratitude so i think it's nice when people say things like just basic you know thank yous you know what i mean like you don't just go like yeah, yeah of course you fucking made me eggs <laughs> <laughs> you know you say thank you i always say, try to say thank you you do but, say thank yeah. you well i think we adore each other i think that's number one is to stay stay adoring and and liking the stuff you liked you know 10 15 years ago that's true and to remember why you you fell in love with that person mm -hmm. I know what I honestly too. I would like, say on one only other thing I would say is don't go camping. Fuck camping. Yeah. You know what I would say. You know why? Why? Because we hate camping. Well, here's what I was gonna say to that. Marry somebody where you guys people are like always what do you have in common? No, no, no. It's what you both hate. Yeah. In common. That's really what's gonna unite you as a couple, is both both of you hate the same stuff. For instance, Tom and I, we don't go out late partying. That's really not our thing. We both hate camping. Yeah. We both hate concerts, both uh, like festivals. We like to stay at home. Uh, we hate loud environments. Hate crowds. Hate crowds. Hate fucking cunt servers. Cunt servers. Yeah. Uh, Billy Joel, our mutual hatred. No, I Billy. don't hate Billy Joel. <laughs> I don't know why you're putting that. Don't you, well, I don't know why you're putting that on me. Bruce Springsteen. I don't like him. We both hate uh, Dylan. Bob Dylan. He's garbage. Trash. Trash ass Frank motherfucker. Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Hate him. Mm -hmm. You're really more united by the shit you hate when you're a couple. It's true. Um, I think things like that too. You Some know, Some guy messaged me. He's like, mm, he's like mad at you. Oh, the Dylan one. Yeah. He was like, he's a treasure. <laughs> yeah, I know. You expect to get those. I know. With music, it's funny because you really, people, tr some people treat the, mu the music they love like it's family. Right. You know, especially if they've been listening for 15, 20, 30 years. It's like yeah. you're, it's like saying, Hey, your dad sucks. To them Basically, yeah, you know, but yeah, you can't expect everyone to like the same. Of course shit not. You like, I just think it's, I think it's funny when someone really gets, gets defensive. Mad, yeah. yeah, about like the sounds they like to hear, <laughs> and you having different <laughs> sounds you like to hear. Yeah, and you're like, gonna fight. My for sounds it. are the best. <laughs> and you're like, okay. okay, or teams. I don't want to hear fucking. Oh sports my thing. god! Like, All right, yeah. who cares? The other one I love about sports is when when people attack a professional. As uh, they suck, like they'll be like, LeBron James sucks, and you're like, it's cool. It's like <laughs> he sucks, I'm like yeah, like he's okay. I mean, we're talking about, you know, objectively, yeah, it's one a, of the he greatest. Suck. He's a great physical yeah. freaks of all. You know, just you can't you can't accept that. It's Fuck him. Arbitrary. He sucks. Yeah. He's no good. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Oh, you know what I would suggest for married people uh, who are newly cohabitating or who have been living together for years. Buy a cleaning lady. Get a cleaning lady. I think that alleviates. Buy a cleaning it. lady. Have a slave uh, in your pantry. No, I, I, but you, I, yeah, I said the word wrong. But get a cleaning lady. You got forty bucks to spare. Mm -hmm. Have someone else clean your home. We did it when we were the brokest. <laughs> I think it was once a month. Because yeah. like when you're like, all right, like this is what. For, it was like a little apartment, and I think someone would do it for like fifty bucks. Yeah, it was the best fifty dollars we ever spent. Yeah, because when they're done, you're like, oh yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll never keep it like this. Yeah, something about having a clean place. It's not something. Here's what it does. It yeah. a alleviates the fights between the two of you due to who cleans what in the house, right? Preach, preach, preach. Okay. I don't yell at you about your boxer shorts on the floor or the sock. You don't yell at me for my sloppiness because someone else fucking picks it yeah. up. Yeah. Plus, there's gross shit that you don't want to do. Hairs I don't want to do and, it. You know, stains on toilets and on uh, sinks that are just, you know what I mean? Like, just from being like toothpaste and shit builds. And it's well, like. Well, and then you have to fight over who does the toilets yeah. and who. And not only that, you work 
40 hours a week. Most Americans work a full fucking week. Yeah. Why are you spending your weekend scrubbing your toilet? Unless it's something you really enjoy. I know a lot of people love or you to have clean. To do. Or you have to do. Yeah. But I'm saying if you have 40 bucks, how much, how much ever it is in your region. Yeah. Save your money. I, I would rather That's really have good a advice, cleaning actually. lady than go out for fucking dinner that yeah. month. Do you know what I'm saying? It's true, it's true, way true. more, uh, I don't know. I think it's a huge lifesaver, personally. I think just to spite you, uh, apparently <laughs> the mommies have taken over the, Rom- the Rogan comment section on oh, his videos. Shit. And it is like all rub rubs. It says like... <laughs> Thick hot white cum. My brother didn't believe me. It's so hard. <laughs> home here now. What's I'm up with home this? Home here now. People are like, are these all bots that are responding to it? Try it out right now, right now, right now. <laughs> uh, Peyton Lafferty, <laughs> take ten or twelve Benadryl. I don't They're think this like, is despite me, is it? No, I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh. Whole man out. Whole man out. Mm. This is hilarious. No, so, it's very funny. You cannot fuck with the mommies. And there's another you cannot uh, lady that. who mentioned this, said, uh, uh-huh. hey, mommies, first want to say that Dr. Drew podcasts are by far my favorites. Yes. His reactions are the best. By the way, I'm going to do his podcast. Uh, oh, great. The, which one? Hashtag you live. He, he needs to change the title of that. I don't know. He's like, life, hashtag you live it, Dr. Drew. Like, we, I got to talk to him about this. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm doing it Thursday. Uh, I wanted to write in about Dr. Drew saying... There's always a man behind the woman. I knew we get emails about this. And that is not always the case. I actually submitted a try it out video of my own fruition the day after Tom put his on Instagram because I was so excited, but I'm not sure I sent it correctly. Uh, It was actually me trying to get my friends to do it with me, not the other way around. I I actually find myself intentionally slipping in the words try it out in conversation so I can chuckle to myself. I love what you do. Your podcast gives me laughs even in the darkest moments. Always keeping it high and tight, Sophia. Sophia, and might I point out that I pushed back on Drew when he said that, and I said that not our listeners. I believe that the women that listen to this show are self-starters, self-initiators when it came to and funny cre- and creating these wacky videos. Listen, if you're a girl and you're listening to this show, yeah, you're already you're fucking a thousand times cooler than most chicks, yeah, and your your fucking head isn't on right. You know what I'm saying? Like you're <laughs> fucked, just like I am. I'm, you know. The main mommy, Here's and Sophia. I can say that. Yeah, black she... guys who love to fuck and fuck good. Oh my God, you're she's a, a sexual. Guy and you want to fuck me? Whoa. <laughs> you want to move in? You can move in. But you have to fuck me, and I, I need to be fucked a lot, man. She's pretty hot for this. <laughs> she's too attractive. It's, it's, it's almost serious. I think if I were a hot black guy, I'd be like, I got to get this contact <laughs> info immediately. I know. Well, homeless or um, you're a Home. thug. You want to move in? Your friend can move in. Shoot me. This is how like a oh. porno starts. I feel like she's, with her. She's so pretty. She's I a know. model. I know. It's, it's like no, I don't I'm know. Like, I'm like scroll for scroll for the <laughs> where's the blowjob start? <laughs> this is the setup to the scene. And her makeup looks great key. too. Yeah. Fuck me. Piss on me. Jeez. Jeez. Everyone's getting a boner from I got this one right now. <laughs> you know, really, you know, try it out. If you want to piss on me, try it out. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. I don't know, Sophia. I'm poor guys who mean it and want to do it <laughs> and want to deliver it. I'm a hot, white, trash, cum dumb. Let's fuck. I'm so aroused. I think everyone else is. Can we take a break? Is, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Sophia, yeah. I don't know if we we got the same goal as the other videos, but uh, you did a great job. You did a great job. <laughs> and uh, uh, please keep sending uh, those videos in every time you have that idea. <laughs> <laughs> the four stroke one oh are we gonna God. do the four stroke guy next uh oh yeah are we gonna He's do four strokes with no neuropathy brother, i couldn't <laughs> believe how big his dig was that's my favorite part of <laughs> my favorite line is still the neuropathy oh yeah and uh people are hashtagging that shit on twitter like yeah, hashtag no, no neuropathy. Neuropathy. <laughs> they're also uh putting it Makes people are so also hard. by the way it's really funny. I'll be no, like, uh, I'm going to be in Fort Myers November 1st. Get your tickets here. And they're like, uh, is there an entrance? Is there a special entrance if I have neuropathy issues? <laughs> Hashtag. I couldn't believe how big his dick was. <laughs> guy's so crazy. So crazy. He jacked off in four uh. strokes. He's no, so impressed. No oh, neuropathy. Joke. I mean, yeah, his focus in life is fucking. Uh, on, on, hold on. Before we move on yeah. from the marriage topic. Yeah. Uh, I want to let everybody know that we were laying in bed last night and I'm laying in my pregnancy pillow so I can't really move a lot. So when I want affection from you, I have to demand it like yeah. a Brussels Griffon. Come here, give me kisses, give me love. And you fucking gave me 
the laziest air kiss. Yeah. I have ever seen. I was watching. We were watching God. something, and you're like, "Hey, give me a kiss." Yeah. And instead, what I did was, <laughs> I, I moved my lips to the right side of my face because you're sitting to my right. And yeah. Went, like that. And you didn't even turn your head. I did a side face air kiss. I went. Yeah. Like that. Because you were watching a TV show and you didn't even want to turn your head to look at me to air kiss me, so you kept your eyes forward on TV and then you, you yeah. side kissed. Yeah. That's some lazy but shit, But you also man. snapped me out of it, because I was actually zoned out on whatever we were watching. So as soon as you pointed out how bad that was, I did laugh pretty you hard. You did, yeah. That was I some lazy shit. It. Yeah, it was yeah. real lazy. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> okay, there you go. No known neuropathy. Um, what is this? I don't know what the hell this is. This message is for Thomas Segura. This is Justin Glasson with the Competitive Water Consumption Consortium. I just wanted to call to let you know that we got your results back from our fair competition year analysis department and to congratulate you no. on your latest victory as the current water champion. <laughs> Dude, wow, that's kind of nice. So dumb. Uh, unfortunately, we did find some performance enhancing salts in your opponent's sample. <laughs> uh, what was her name? <laughs> Christina Pazitsky. Um, but I can't Guys. talk too much about that right now until the consortium puts out an official statement concerning that issue. Whatever. Fake but, news. Uh, before I go, I just wanted to add that after you came down here for your analysis, we cannot stop talking about how great your presence was. <laughs> I swear I haven't been able to walk into the break room without hearing my coworkers retelling your stories or your jokes. Uh, you just have such a great and charismatic okay. personality. And uh, okay. I, we cannot wait to have you back in the future. Um, <laughs> so that's all I got. You know, best of luck to you in the future, champ. Well Th done. Thanks, Justin. That is uh, f such bullshit. You, who, who is this guy? You put him up to this? No, I didn't. I swear to you. <sighs> that was just submitted. That was Justin Glasson. Okay. Um, Justin Glasson. Looks like the sissy of Fremont is back with some oh. an update. Oh, oh my God. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, my God. Hey, yeah, this is a little dip in speech. Actually, I'm a pussy boy oh. living right now downtown Vegas in a shithole. But I can relocate any place because I get Social Security. You know, I'm retired. I don't look my age of 66. <gasps> oh, 66? I don't look my age of 66. Yeah, you look 86. Fuck, man. Like goddamn Star Wars character, which Jesus. is, I guess, what the sound he was making when it started, wasn't he? Oh, boom, no. boom, boom, boom. I don't like it. I don't like the pussy Actually, boy. Actually, here it is, ladies. And you gotta be white, because I like white. White, white, white. And you could be mature like me, or, well, you know, not too young. Uh, actually, I'm looking to live in with, you know, a white lady. We get it. You like white ladies. I'm ready for you to fuck me up any way you want to do it, you white cunts. Yeah, off me anyway. Come on, you white tramps. She has to be dominant, you know. We get it. Maybe uh, want to put me in her clothes all the time and fix me up like a girl. But then I don't know why he always resorts to going aggro. He's like, dress, he's, dress he want, me up. He wants to antagonize them so that they abuse him more. Uh, Let's, and then if I disobey, she can uh, stuff her panties in my mouth and duct tape my mouth and tie me up to a chair. I'm going to to paraphrase Dr. Drew. Oh, the trauma. Yeah. Yeah, he's been through a lot. He's He was a Fremont. He was right there, man. Yeah. Uh, we should have hung out with him. The pussy boy of Fremont. Mm, that's right. Fuck. He can go anywhere, though. It's the nice thing. Yeah, he is mobile still. What do you think about taking him in? Ugh, he's so disgusting. Look, he's shirtless. And I don't. I love Check. when somebody looks like it goes, I don't look my age of 66. <laughs> it's usually like women who will be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm actually really, well, I'm put together pretty well. And you're like, I like how you make that judgment on you. <laughs> yeah. You're telling and everyone. And most of the time, they look exactly their age. Or worse. Yeah. Like this fucking. I'll tell you, it's seldom that somebody doesn't legit look their age people who don't very self never say it in other words like right. the person who like really looks young goes you wouldn't believe how much younger i look than i am. <laughs> like, they just they are that you know it's like <laughs> this being guy is terrible. like smart people don't go like do you want to know how smart i am <laughs> like they just don't do they don't tell you this guy's 66 babe he looks terrible well yeah this is i mean i mean of jesus course, fucking it's really Christ. horrendous He's got the smoke detector in the back, so that's good. The camera's facing from down. Yes, hold so it down. No shirt. So he checks Flattering all the boxes. All the, your mom's house requirements. <laughs> yes. For a shitty and video. Put some weights on my itty bitty two inch dick. <laughs> so yeah, if you're the white, white, white lady that's looking for a sissy roommate, yeah, hey, roommate. I'm it. 
give me a holler. No you think anyone's going to respond to that? Yeah. A real crazy person. Yeah. yeah. Somebody who's equally as sick as he is. Nobody, uh, it, you know, no, it's fucking out of control. Did you see this thing that went viral? This uh, kid talking shit to this guy at a we'll park? Talk some shit? This kid? Don't call me. No. Don't touch me, but. I'm going to get my sister over here to whoop your ass right now. Okay. Call sister. This guy did a voice call. <laughs> call Called sister. Call sister. He's just being, like, confronted by this kid. <sighs> and look at the kid, though. Yeah, he's fucking straight up on him. Come here. Are you at home? It's really weird. The kid is like up on him. I don't know how it started, but it looks like the kid is. Um, he said, "Don't talk about my mom or something." Hmm. I like him. Good for him. See, he's put. He's he's touching the guy. That's. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Right now, they're actually leaning. A grown man and a kid are leaning up against each other. How do you think that kid is? 12? Yeah. I, think around I don't 12. know. I got to know more about what happened here. He's just yeah, insulting his mom. I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit, this kid's punching this yeah, guy. Yeah, he's punching the guy. I don't know about that. <laughs> Why is nobody breaking? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, another really funny video, Tom. Thanks. Uh, what uh, part of this is funny for you? I didn't though? think it was funny. The I was just showing screaming? you the video. I mean, the... It's, the scream's fine. This is terrible. I, I can't watch a little kid getting hurt. I want to see what happens. They are I don't messing need with cars. He was. Ah. I called him, and then he start, they start cussing, telling him to MF you and all this, that, and the other. Kid, this little kid? Yeah. Okay. So Sean come out here and get this kid, because he just kept running around here and cussing me and all that. I said, you need to tell this kid to get out of here. So Sean came out here and told him to go, and he went down right where his bike's at. And turned and dropped his bike and ran back up here and started pushing Sean. <laughs> Who picked this one? Blue Band, I don't know. your I videos didn't... today are fucking crazy. What's happening? Um, I don't see anything wrong with what the guy did, though. Pushing that kid down on the ground? No. I don't know, dude. That kid was I... swinging on him. That kid I, needs yeah, to be checked. But you have to, you have to separate them. Another adult should have intervened and separated them. You don't push a little boy down to the ground. He's not and a little boy. Crying. He's twelve, babe. Yeah, he needed to be checked. You don't push a kid on the concrete. You could crack the kid his is, fucking skull. That kid skull. Was, was was punching. You, yeah, but you're bigger than him. Aren't there rules to that? Yeah, yeah. It's like this is what Can't happens. You just be like this. No, no. Because what happens him? is that kid needs to know. See, what happens is that kid is going to learn from this incident. That if I go ahead and just punch someone when I'm angry, yes, they could it could end poorly for me. Right. So you need to be able to, you know, assess a situation and either restrain yourself from punching when you want to. Certainly, don't think you can punch someone bigger than you and not have repercussions. Yeah. No, I get it. Look, he this is. I mean, he did grab him. He and shouldn't throw have him. pushed him on. Con I mean, first of all, it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Yeah. You know, fucking push a little kid on the floor. But you're right. This is called this is male thing where you guys have yeah. to learn how to size that, someone that up guy and did fight. Him a favor. Okay. That guy did him a favor. I got to pee. I'm sorry. Fuck I'm pregnant. That kid. I got to go. Don't fuck okay. that kid. <laughs> he should have fucked that kid. <laughs> no, I said fuck that kid. <laughs> fuck that kid is right. Are you going to pee? Yeah. All right. Uh, how was your pee? Pretty magical. I'm so fucking hungry today, man. It's like I have a person inside it of me. It is like that. <laughs> Can't stop eating today. Check out this bullshit. What? Listen to uh It's bullshit. This is when Dr. Drew was here. Oh. Listen. For a pregnant lady, I take amazing dumps. I always about, tell him. Is it is no, it I don't need to. odd for me that Do you have to I, eat her ass Bert before you she eats yours? Do you have to what? Eat her ass Bert? Did you call me Bert? <laughs> That's what they're saying. Call me Bert. No, let's hear it again. No, I don't need to. for me that Do you have to I, eat her ass Bert before you she eats yours? Her ass first. He said burst. Your ass, her ass first. Too. Odd for me that Do you have to I eat her ass Bert before you ass eat Bert? Bert, Bert? You have to eat her ass Bert. Oh, ass first. He, he knows you're saying he's trying to say first and then said Bert. Bert. It can't just, yeah, your ass Either. first. Do you have to I eat her ass Bert before you <laughs> eat yours? I'll eat her ass Bert. Burr, but instead it, I. Ass burgers? We got to send it to him, man. 
Yeah. It's totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Totally I'm not going to go do a show now. <laughs> you got you to gotta show them that clip. Yeah, that's it right there. Listen. Burp. <sighs> first. Did yeah, you have to I, harass Burt before you sheets your Ask ears? first, not Burt. Burp. 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 That's cute. Hmm. Speaking of ass, I was getting a mom massage yesterday. Yeah. And I was holding in so many farts, like the whole time, like so every word. time. Sometimes when they give you a massage and they'll push down, like f- from your mid back to your lower yeah, back. Yeah, torture. It's like they're, car- like they're showing the fart where to go. <laughs> like they're like, here's your digestive tract. <laughs> well, I lay on my side for these, but I ate oh, right. Mexican food. I had like oh so much God. food and I was, t- the whole time I'd relax, relax, and then I'd feel the fart come back and then I'd have to clench, 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 and then it w- it would wake me up. And then it occurred to me, wouldn't it be great to find a masseuse that actually encouraged your farts? That was like, oh yeah, oh, right now you gotta let that fart out. Yeah, breathe in and yeah. push hard. And like whisper, I like when they whisper. So yeah, you, go, you have to fart. Don't, <laughs> don't hold back at all. <laughs> yeah. And you're like what? And they're like, go ahead and give me that fart if you want. Yeah. You gotta yeah. breathe in and you gotta push that fart out and let and the fart like, out. Oh, uh, and then they're like, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm sure there is. There has to be somebody that's like the fart. I masseuse. don't know if I would say I'm sure there is. I don't think that that's, <laughs> not, that's necessarily correct. There's no fart masseuse in LA? Maybe. Dude, I mean, if you put out a request, be. I'm sure someone who likes farts will be like, I could massage you, but I don't know if there's a <laughs> fart massage therapist. Well, um, they, the prerequisite isn't that they have to like the fart, but just that they don't make you clench your ass because I, like, I feel like it takes away from the relaxation experience. If I could just let it rip without embarrassment, of course. how much better would your massage be? Yeah, if, you could be, if you're like, oh, here comes a fart, and they're like, don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cause I can't. But you don't know if you have a... <laughs> A real rancid one, or if you have a, you know. Oh, mine are horrible right now. Because I feel like I'm close enough to the lady that we go to all the time. I, I was this close yesterday to being like, listen, I got to rip one. Are you cool with it? She'd probably be cool with it. She'd probably be cool with it. But then I don't want to blast like you of said. Course. Of course. What if we could pay somebody extra and be like, here's extra money if you just let me fart the whole time? They would definitely say yes. <laughs> I dare you to do it next time we're at like a nice like place you mind if i uh <laughs> you know what happened is if i go if i tip you a little more they're gonna be like no 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 and I'm like, wait let me finish my sentence do you mind i'll tip you a little more if i can fart the whole time <laughs> right they're expecting the hand job yeah, offer and, and they're like, like i just gotta fart i just want to and then she's like what she probably go people fart all the time i'm like so do you mind <laughs> no because <laughs> i do feel like that's the one hindrance to me fully relaxing and enjoying yeah if I could just take out that fart barrier. But uh, like, if you have to fart, fart, be like, no, 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 but I need you to waft it to yourself. No, it's not and farting. Say, I man. like it, I like it, I like it. I don't need the encouragement. What about this guy? You think he would let, would let you fart while he gives you a massage? Since a baby, won't you lick my pussy tonight? Since a baby, won't you come inside me tonight? Oh, God. I can't take it. Do you I think? Hate him so much. had a big black dick. Okay. And some very big back balls. Okay. On one horny Christmas Ugh. night, Santa came to play. Okay. He said, Chrissy, with your rule so tight, won't you come ride my pipe tonight? And while the others banged me, I didn't even bleed. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's got the crazy heels on, probably. Yeah. yeah. He really should show them if he's going to bother wearing I them. know. That's a quite a outfit. What is that? It's it's nothing, Tom. Just you can't, mm. my, my least favorite sexual genre. Yeah. Is the crossing of Christmas, the Lord of our birth, the the birth of our Lord and Savior, mm-hmm. with sexual or sexualizing Santa? Yeah. I I never understood that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I fuck Santa or Santa. Yeah, fuck. Santa baby. That Santa song. Santa pornos and all yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah. that's the least. It's just it's a child's thing. It's just so like how come we don't do it with the Easter Bunny? Like fucking the Easter there Bunny. There probably is. I'm, I'm sure. sure there is. I know. Mm. I just really, I really don't like the Santa. Well, here, I know, is there one thing is, I know you. I know what puts you in a good mood. <laughs> we established this yesterday. Yeah. I know what can make you laugh. Yeah, you This do. is, again, part of, uh, if you're wondering what makes somebody happy through a marriage, it's like okay. knowing their sweet spots. There's one thing I know about you. You love music. Yeah. You love scatting. 
I love scatting. How about group scatting? Oh, God. <laughs> rough man <laughs> well especially because it's uh, a, a group of dorky white kids yeah i know guys now, you're doing it better than they are they're they're lazily doing it they're going you get, like you can hear taps because it's all <laughs> off rhythm they're doing it lazily, though. They're not even doing it. See, you're doing it crisp. You're like, ba 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 da. They're like, these kids are terrible at this. This is terrible. He's terrible. Look at that movement. Let the black kid do it, please. No, not the white girl. Give the mic to the one black kid in the back. Oh, Jesus, please let the black kid do it. I can't hear these fucking white girls doing this. Let's get to him because I think please. they all do a solo. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Look at it. Look at him. Is he doing it? A yep. hundred times better. What did I tell you? Hold on. Let me do it. Let I think I might like Scat because that kid did it. Well, let me listen to him. A little bit of soul. Hold on. It's definitely better than the other people. But look at all the kids looking at him yeah, like, like, whoa. Oh, wow. Darnell that, can really do it. <laughs> is that how it's done? Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. This is embarrassing. He, he got into it. Don't you feel like... Like, this is something you totally could have fallen into in, like, elementary school. Oh, maybe elementary school. Like, you can just make sounds, like, with your mouth. No, but I mean, like, um, you know, like, you, you're like, I, I'm in the choir group. I do music group at school. And then yeah. the, the music instructor is like, we're going to do this thing called scat. And you're, like, young. And you're like, yeah, what's that? Well, it's like this jazz thing. And then next thing you know, there's a video of you doing this shit. I mean, it would not be in, at their age. No. No. You tell me, like, I was six or something. Yeah. Six. Yeah. I'd say up until sixth grade, you could get sucked into doing something oh, not me. stupid. No, no, no. You think 12? You're like 12. Yeah, 12, I'd be out. out. You'd be like, this is fucking gay. Yeah, Shit, yeah, I'm yeah. not doing this. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I think I could have gotten roped in at 12. That would be the last year. They could make me do something this embarrassing. 11, 11. <laughs> Oh. Who's singing? That was that one was better. Who's that? I think it's who's to his right and behind her. We can't see who it is. Wow. That one was that was my that was actually the best one yet. That was the best one. Yeah, the first few were like whew. garbage. <laughs> Now see that that was better because they rehearsed it. Right. This this yeah the scat stuff was in, that was terrible. Oof. What if our sons like I just love to scat, Dad. Come listen to these scat records. Like, oh, oh my oh, god! Shit. I gotta act like I like this nonsense. Oh, fucking ham bone, this asshole. This fucking. <laughs> See now, oh my god! The last time we played Hambone, we did a kind of an analysis, like who's less talented? Yeah, that guy or the lung infection song guy? That's right. Lung infection guy won by a landslide. Yeah, he killed it. Now, Hambone versus Scat, who's who's the le lesser talent? There? Well, it's a good question. I mean, I think I hated the Hambone guy more. Yeah. 
But I think now that I've spent some time in the scat world, <laughs> I definitely hate them. Well, here's the thing. The people in the scat community, they seem to be very earnest. Like, there's a very earnest love of scat. Mm. But the ham bone guy, I still feel like he's he knows that he's put one over on the audience. Like he, he's so smug with how he does it. And of stuff. course, that's what contributes to why you hate him so much. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, I've worked this like, fucking. Of course, racket I'm good out. at this. Yeah. God, <laughs> been ham boning my whole life. Yeah, yeah. It's not as uh, I don't know. The other ones just seem so innocent compared to him. True, true. What would you rather watch? That group scat video or ham bone, ham bone. for an hour? Ham bone. An hour. You're buying ham a bone. ticket, you're driving, you're parking. Of, of the two, without question. I think I could at least get lost in the fact that he does movement. And, um, it's an hour, though. I know, but they were terrible. Okay, would you rather watch an Andrew Lloyd Webber musical mm -hmm. or ham bone? Hmm. Oh, you got it. And here's the thing: the the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. It's hours. It's not just one hour. It's like two and a half. I'm guessing two and a half, three hours, right? Um, you got to watch a musical, or you got to watch an hour of Hamble. <laughs> Hambo. Hambo. I would take it. No, I would take the Andrew Lloyd Webber. I don't want to see a three hour or anything. I don't want to see three hours of like the best stand up. I don't want to see a three hour movie. I don't want to see three hour anything. <laughs> yeah. I, I really hate going to something that long. It's too it's too much. It's too much. Too too much. Too much. Um this I know will also you'll enjoy this on the way okay. out of the show here. We gotta wrap up here soon. We gotta go to that meeting soon. Yeah, yeah. At this point, the information that we have is that there is a male subject who has defecated on himself <laughs> yes. due to his intoxication level and yes. that uh, he's spewing poop all over yeah. the house. What's your name, bud? <laughs> Gary? Gary? What's going on, Gary? Mm. She thinks I'm too drunk to drive home. Okay. And uh, I don't think I am, but... Okay. Let me ask you this. Have you used a bathroom on yourself? Well, yes. Okay. Well, my main thing is at this point, I just want to make sure you don't have any feces on you anywhere. Oh, I clean myself up in the bathroom. Okay. I mean, okay. Sometimes when I have gas, right? It's, it's a little bit more. You know? I got you. Little, I knew you'd love this. Wait a minute, but yeah. is it a crime to shit on oneself? Well, let's let's see what happened. Hang tight right here for me for just okay. a second, okay? Let Please. me go talk to Mindy, okay? Okay. He said he cleaned himself up in here. How much? He's done it twice. I'm oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, seriously, I don't want him around me. Right. Okay. Oof. Look at the front of that. But is this toilet. a crime for somebody to miss know. the toilet? This is a I private don't think residence. He missed it. Ugh. He did miss it. Look, there's st it's streaming down Ugh. the. <laughs> the first time it was all in my wall. All over my wall. Seriously? Yeah. And then he puts his poopy underwear in my kitchen. I'm like. What is wrong with you? A little you? bit disgusting. Will you talk to him about it? Yes, I will. You might want to grab your dog. Hey, get out of oh, Are you nasty. kidding me? I don't want the dog to get near Oh, my God. Um, but is this, isn't this this just like a domestic issue? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it, but also it sounds like she needs help. Like she's like, will you talk to him? I don't think they're like, we're going to arrest him, you know? <laughs> He's a good friend of mine, a lady friend. And <laughs> my underwear and... Uh, I, I went to fart, and it, <laughs> it went further in a fart, you know? Yeah, yeah. She's pretty picky about cleanliness. Sure. And yeah, she, she seems like upset. real uptight. Yeah, she's kind yeah. of uptight. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with her? Here's the deal. Um, Here's the deal, this? man. This officer's going to be nice enough to take you home, okay? Gosh. He's going to take you home. Let's disgusting. not try to push your fart out or anything like that in his car, okay? I don't want you to do what? Try not to do push what? your fart out or do anything in the car. I don't want you to make a mess in his car, okay? <sighs> that guy just had to tell someone, don't <laughs> fart in this guy's car. No, that police officer yeah. had to tell a civilian, like, could you not push your farts? Because you shit when you fart, usually. Is he going to hospital? I got to get my, my pants. Mm -hmm. Leave those in oh. there. Leave those in there. Don't open that bag up. Don't open the Don't bag. Don't open that up. Don't. I don't know what that's in my car. We're going to leave that here, and you can come back and get those. <laughs> Could you imagine? You open that bag up. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this poor police officer. Could you imagine getting called out 
for this fucking nonsense. Some drunk guy shitting on himself. Down in case he happens to try to push a fart out on the way home. <laughs> Pushes out a little bit more again. Uh, yeah. We're safe. Then get all over the seats. Ugh. See that blanket right there? You're gonna try and do everything you can to stay on that the entire time you are in this car, okay? No shit. Yeah. God bless the police. I mean, those are good cops right there. No, are you serious? I'm, I'm being serious. Yeah. Those, those are nice ones. They're like. Are you kidding me? What a gig. I'll give this fucking asshole. Could you imagine? I mean, look. I know the police get a bad rap and stuff, but. The amount of just nonsense you have to deal with on a daily basis. I mean, you and I deal with drunk people all the time. All the time, yeah. And you add alcohol to somebody who's already got their wires loose a little bit, and it is just like kerosene on the fire. Oh, I yeah. mean, like this guy, I'm sure when he's sober, it's, he probably doesn't do that as much, you know? No, alcohol killer. Drugs and alcohol, man. All right, which song? There's two songs in my folder. You want to pick one? Uh, what do we got? Uh, one's called Piss on Me. Mm-hmm, by mm-hmm. Logan Stake. One's called You're Not an Anomaly by who made this one? By Chris mm-hmm. Spence. That one sounds real smart. So let's go with Piss on Me. Okay. Piss on Me. Here it is. We'll play the other we'll one next week. We'll do the next week. one next week. Yeah. Um, thanks for listening. We got to run. We got to go to this thing. Now try it out. We got to try it out. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks Love for you, listening. Mommies. Bye, Gene. Bye, meow. One, two, three. Black guys who love to fuck It's fuck good If you're a hot black guy And you wanna fuck me At twenty three ninety five. If you wanna move in You can move in But you gotta fuck me I need to be fucked A lot man A lot man Get rent, free food, free rent, and everything else. Man, here's the deal, man. Well, man, here's the deal, man. Men from jail, homeless, or um, if you're a thug, wanna come move in. Your friend can move in too. Free rent. You get a lease and a key Fuck me, piss on me, and beat me I'm on my now I'm on my now You wanna see me come over today Try it out, try it out, man If you're in my building Oh, try it out, wanna fucking piss off me, try it out Serious three Plus only as fuck, man I'm looking for hardcore guys I wanna deliver I'm a hot fucking White trash cum dumb I'm a hot fucking Why trash come dump? Let's fuck.